Hi, my name is Hiromichi Akimoto. This movie introduces you a new uh, offshore floating wind turbine concept. The name is Floating Access Wind Turbine. The development of offshore wind farm is spreading from shallow water to deep water region. If the water depth is uh, higher than 50 meters, a floating type is more economical than the bottom fixed one. However, the cost of energy produced by floating wind turbine is much more expensive than that of uh, onshore wind turbines. It is because the uh, float system of the uh, wind turbine is very expensive. This is the uh, co example of a cost breakdown of uh, the tension leg platform type wind turbine. You can see uh, two thirds of the cost is for submerged part, including float and anchoring system. At present, mainstream concept of floating offshore wind turbine is horizontal access wind turbine. It is mainly because uh, they have been quite successful in onshore applications. However, floating horizontal access wind turbine is against the basics of ocean engineering and naval architecture. It is top-heavy structure. Uh, main electromechanics are on the top of high tower. Uh, if we, we have to keep its upright position in offshore, we, we need large floater system. It experiences high wave load and uh, increases the cost of the device. Also, uh, the maintenance work in the high altitude uh, nacelle is not easy if it is in offshore condition. Three degrees roll of the wind turbine leads to five meter swing inside of the nacelle. Uh, because we expect high wind in the uh, uh, offshore wind farm site, uh, there will be a uncertainty of maintenance work schedule. It increases the uh, cost of the uh, project. This consideration indicates uh, floating offshore wind turbine requires another concept. The the popular design of wind turbine is horizontal axis wind turbine, HAWT. Uh, but there, are, there is another one, vertical axis wind turbine, VAWT. The research and development of VAWT was active in 1970s and 80s, but now the, the application is limited to small, small turbines. Although a uh, large vertical axis wind turbine is not popular, uh, the concept has some merits in floating offshore design. It does not require yaw control because the performance of a vertical axis turbine is not depending on the wind direction. The heavy electromechanics can be installed in lower level near the water surface. They it leads to a simple, simple mechanism. Uh, it leads to low operation and maintenance costs. Also, uh, it reduces the uh, center of gravity height. Uh, it, uh, it, it can reduce the uh, size of the float system. It is very uh, helpful for, for reducing the cost of energy produced by the uh, offshore wind turbine. There are some uh, co projects of a floating vertical axis wind turbine. This slide shows uh, three of them. First one is uh, the consortium inflow supported by EU committee. This one is deep wind concept. Uh, it is by a DTU Denmark. This one is uh, uh, Wind and marine current turbine hybrid concepts uh, by Modec Japan. 
Although the floating vertical axis wind turbine has some merits, there are some remaining problems. The thickness of turbine shaft is limited by the size of available bearings. It indicates the scaling up of this turbine is not easy. High bending moment appears at the root of turbine shaft. Uh, these mechanical problems are not easy to solve, so it, it will increase the uh, R&D cost of the vertical axis wind turbine. Uh, therefore, put, just putting a vertical axis wind turbine on the float system is not economical enough. Our solution is the concept of floating axis wind turbine. In this design, a cylindrical rotating float supports the wind turbine rotor above the water surface. The submerged float and the wind turbine rotates as a unit. The rotating axis is not in the fixed upright position. The tilt angle of the axis is passively adjustable to the wind force. This design is for reducing the support structures and the cost of the device. Power takeoff units are on the small float surrounding the uh, uh, turbine shaft. The uh, design, the mechanism of power takeoff unit is similar to the uh, regenerating brake system of an uh, electric vehicle. The heavy rotor shows a gyroscopic effect on the attitude of the turbine. When the turbine axis is released from the uh, upright position, it moves in a spiral to the uh, balanced position. Because the weight of rotor is supported by buoyancy, the scaling up of this design will be easy. By connecting two counter-rotating turbines or increasing the size of each turbine, we can get huge offshore floating wind turbine. For startup of the research and development of this design, it will be e. the small design is also useful. This design is for a mobile floating wind turbine. In this case, uh, braids are foldable like an uh, umbrella. Uh, its uh, possible applications are uh, power supply uh, for the uh, fleet in distant Navy operation, or uh, emergency power supply in hazardous area uh, caused by earthquake or tsunami. And it can be also used uh, as regular power supply for ocean platforms. This is a movie from the a, a water tank experiment of a small floating wind turbine. Three blades are on the uh, rotating shaft, and uh, as you can see from the side view of the underwater part, the turbine is supported by buoyancy. Because it is buoyancy supported, uh, the static friction on the rotating axis it does not exist. So, a uh, very weak push will start the turbine, turbine rotation. For some people, the proposed concept is not acceptable because of their misunderstanding of vertical axis wind turbine. The efficiency of a vertical axis turbine is about 20% less than that of a horizontal axis wind turbine. But the efficiency is not equal to the economic performance of the turbine. Uh, it is uh, uh, power divided by swept area times swept area divided by total cost. 
the first term is efficiency so the uh, efficient this part is uh, uh, inferior to horizontal axis wind turbine but the uh, second part uh, we can if it is a uh, uh, vertical axis wind turbine in floating application we can provide large projection area with the same cost of the device so the uh, uh, total economic performance of the vertical axis wind turbine can be higher than the uh, than that of horizontal axis wind turbine also uh, people may think uh, vertical axis wind turbine is not sophisticated as uh, horizontal axis wind turbine but it is not true uh, the blade, each blade of a horizontal axis wind turbine is in very strong bending moment and uh, thrust, of, uh, thrust of force. The condition is similar to uh, in a, a giant swing in uh, lateral force. It is a cantilevered uh, uh, thin plate in high bending moment. But in vertical axis wind turbine, the uh, gravity center of each blade is almost in the uh, uh, same level. So we can say the situation is similar to the social dance of two blades. Uh, because the horizontal axis wind turbine is very popular, people may tend to think it is easy. But it, uh, you, uh, we have to remember the uh, present horizontal axis wind turbine is the result of long research and development. Conclusion of this presentation is as follows. Horizontal axis wind turbine may not be economical in offshore floating condition because of its top heavy structure. Vertical axis wind turbine has merits of low center of gravity and simple mechanism in floating application. However, the uh, bearing of heavy rotor shaft is still challenging. The proposed floating axis wind turbine will reduce the device cost and the cost of energy by discarding the idea of fixed upright position. Our research has shown that uh, a floating axis wind turbine will be more economical than the bottom fixed offshore wind turbines. Also, if it is optimized, uh, it can be competitive with onshore wind turbines. Thank you for your kind attention.